Welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Anyway, I've had an idea since last stream when I got kind of stuck. Um, I have an idea of where I might be able to go. So let's just hop right to it. Hop and skip right to it. I'm gonna ignore those spiders. All right, so here's my idea. Uh, I grab the arrows even though that summons all those spiders, which are going to be a problem later, so that I can get into that library and maybe get past um, get past the monster. Or sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. What I want to do is get the fake book and put it in the bookshelf to see if that opens it. Uh, oops. I think I can just fire the bow since I have arrows in my inventory. Trouble is, it's hard to know where I'm aiming. I thought I missed last time I did this, and it still counted, so let's go. That looks like it shouldn't hit, but it didn't hit. Okay. Let's try to line up with the lines on the floor a little bit, maybe. Maybe that'll do it. That looks like a better shot. Yeah. Thunder is how you know that the monster has been destroyed. I think I tried to investigate the clock and there's nothing of interest here. No. I wonder if I can push it. While I'm, while I'm here, I may as well. I find a key and a parchment. Emily found the parchment. Uh, what does it say? The Creatures of Night by Hubertus the Bald. Translated from Latin by his brother in prayer, Fratre Johann Marcus. Hubertus the Bald is a name that you could only get in like the medieval age. Of monstrosity. You who read me know that night engenders monsters and that night creatures exist. The accursed book of Abdul al-Hazred is clear on this matter. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Unhappy he who knows that book. Oh, wow. I guess, I guess that's where that phrase comes from. Unhappy he whose eyes alight upon that foulest of texts. Unhappy he who implores the standing stones. For he will free the powers of darkness. Oh, I guess that's what those pictures were in the hallway, standing stones. The way he says unhappy he kind of sounds silly to me. It's like a children's poem. Unhappy he Of the pit. Stagnant waters are like the memory of men. Beneath the surface calm, clawed beasts await and are known to initiates as the deep ones. Awaiting his prey, the deep one seizes him and drags him down to the abyss where Dagon, the cruel god, swims and reveres him whose name may not be pronounced. Of libraries, unhappy he who frees the prowler, unhappy he who meets the prowler erring among the books. He generates the vagabond that comes from other spheres. He believes the vagabond does not exist. He will feel the embrace of death, for in the eyes of the vagabond, books are no more than dreams, stone no more than wind. The vagabond knows how to take the breath of the reckless. That must be that purple voxel monster from the library. It's not, it can move through things. And we probably can't kill it. Strife. He who speaks does not know and believes he is able to kill the creatures of the night. Folly. 
evil is conjured up by science and secrecy. Uh, you're not going to read the rest of it? He who prowls among books will perish by the blade. He who flies in the dark caverns will scream in fear. He who swims in the depths will evaporate. But he who he who prowls among books oh, they screwed will it up. perish <laughs> by the blade. Okay. He who flies in the dark the caverns will scream in fear. He who swims in the depths will evaporate. But he who believes he knows knows nothing. He who knows says nothing. Oh, thanks, Black Guy. I did at least as oh, good as this guy. Right. I guess that's what that capital P must be like a co programming oh, error for a new page. There are domains more terrible than death. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Each creature is conjured up and is not dead but returns to the origins. A monster, oh. a science. Steel kills the vagabond who never dies. Oh, maybe we can kill the purple mo voxel monster then. Uh, I don't know if the knives I have are steel. Translator's maybe. note. Here ends the manuscript of Hubertus, who died in the library of the convent of Teruella in the year of our Lord, 1666. <laughs> of course he did. Requiescat in what other year would Uberto the Bald die, and w in what other place than the very place he cautioned against? Fake book, and now that I have learned, the oil lamp can be set down and still keeps the room alight. I can investigate the false bookcase door that seems to be over here. So let's, uh, let's uh, put this down. Hopefully fast enough that the Vagabond won't get us. Uh, if I search this... Can I... Nope? Okay. False book. Drop or put it? No. Okay, well... So much for that... Um, so much for that theory. There must be a way to get in through that part of the bookshelf, though. Uh-oh, there he is. Run, run, run. I'm stuck. Uh-oh. Uh, I have knives. Oh, but it's dark now. Well, that's no good. Oh man, am I totally stuck? I'm pinned. I'm pinned against the wall. Oh well. Yeah. He, the the uh, the vagabond totally blindsided me, didn't he? 